Hey, this is Esther coming to you with this Gypsy Faux Lock Crochet video. Today I'll be using the Bow Lock Features Braid Crochet Hair and the Features Deep Twist Hair. First I'm going to start out by moisturizing my hair and my edges. Then I part it from ear to ear so I can get ready to braid it. So in the front, I do use fake hair and I use connect line hair and I braid the braids going straight back. That way, when I have my crochets in, they're versatile. So once I braid it straight back, then I separate the front in the middle and I braid those going down. And then the back, I braid about five cornrows going straight back and then I connect it all at the end. Then I grease my scalp, you know, that way my hair is moisturized. I also wanted to add that in the back, you want it to be big and then the front of decent amount because the bigger the braids in the back, the less hair you have to put in. My hair pattern crochet technique is pretty much two lock than one curly hair. I'm going to slow it down for you, that way you can see it. I just pretty much take the hook, go underneath the braid and latch it. I'm going to slow it down one more time. In the front, you can see that I bring the hook down and then lash, latch it. I'm going to continue in fast speed, that way this video won't be forever long. Now I'm done, I'm going to trim my hair all the way around. I'm taking the scissors and going down, that way it's layered a little bit and not going straight across. I make sure that I change the parts that way it falls nicely on whatever part that I put it on. Now I'm just bejeweling the hair, putting jewelry all over the place. Spice it up a little bit. So I try to put different things. I put the beads, the wooden beads, the little um, clips, and the spiral thing. I don't, I'm not sure what it's called. And like a bunch of different things. I even put the string on there. You probably can't see it as much, but I did. So if you're wondering why my hair looks more curlier than dread, Yes, it is because when I was doing it, I did put more dread hair in and then I realized mm, I don't really like it that much. So I took the majority of the dread out in the front and I replaced it with curly hair. And if you do hair, you might notice it, but if you don't do hair for a living, you probably don't notice it. I like how you can change it up, have it on one side. So, right here is the other side. I haven't tried it in the middle, but I'm pretty sure I won't like the middle. So, this is what the middle looks like. So, overall, I did use two packs of curly hair and possibly four packs of the dread hair. Now, if you don't like your hair that bushy, then you won't need that many, that many packs. But you can do it overall with five packs all in total. If any of you guys want me to try something else, I am open to it. So just comment below of what styles you would like to for me to do next. And then I will do it and I will record it and I will post it on YouTube. Just subscribe. That way you won't miss out on my next video. So see you guys. Mm -hmm.